beautiful ignited souls i'm just loving this and i hope you do as well it's really giving us a perspective of where we are or where we've been or you know just where we are where we are okay we all know that we have been bombarded with news we all know that we have been affected by covid 19 and coronavirus we all know um that the world is changing dramatically but there there's, seem to be an exciting um essence of vibration that tells us that things Things are happening and it's a divine intervention in as much as um, we know that others on favorable persons or figures or whatever they may be may have been very instrumental but there is a high intelligence that I have not begun to understand um, how that it has showed in the big five religions for instance so I have done, um, this is number four, presentation on the big five, Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam. What we have discovered so far is that combined, there's an intelligence that shows us that these numbers come to 31. The cycle as in when um, Christ would call and say, Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? This means that I am bringing this here because the word Father equals 31. And he says this twice, Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? Because this would form eight. And that meant he had to form his new template. The, the old template was broken and meaning Father cannot help help you there you have to really design your own template in this time you're going through that metamorphosis you've got to form this now this is why i believe that this whole um this whole uh devastation if you want to call it that or evolution if you want to call it that has come it has touched every corner of the world if you like and so it is shaking every aspect of this big five Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Islam. And we, so what we did so fast, just to show you, I don't know if we'll be able to um, really, it'd be nice to be able to have or summarize everything in this, what we have done. So what we did, we did the numerical value for Judaism, for instance, and that was 23, two plus three became five. We also have, um, so we did that with each and see that um, five, was for Judaism. We'll just do this here. Five. It's a funny five. And um, for Christianity, we had 11 because that became 56. We also see that on the sacrifice template that both Judaism and Christianity falls in the same spectrum. This is why Christians would say when you're in Christ, you are a new creature. Of course, Christ is also five like Judaism. Okay, so let's look at the um, 5 is actually, 56 is 11, so 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have 2. Then we did for Hinduism, which was 43, and pl um, 4 plus 3 is 7, so we'll add this up as well. 7, of course, let me just stick into the first part. We did with, with um, Buddhism was 8, so 8, and then we had 9 for Islam, which was nine, 18. 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, so adding this together, we have, um, I just say three, it's a 24. It may not come out like this, but 24 and um, 29, 30, 31. So this is how we had 31. And 31 actually is four. Three plus four, three plus one is four. So we looked at um, four. Uh, in fact, we looked at 31 as in the written form as T-H-I-R-T-Y, T-H-I-R-T-Y. We did that and one. So one is seven and 30 is 37. Three plus, three plus um, seven is 10. So we added this together, this gives us eight. So this was the overall thing that we had. We saw that 31 gives us eight. Three plus one, as we have seen, gives us four. Now, another thing we did, what we didn't do was have the numerical value for the word four for the word for F-O-U-R, it gives us 24, which is six. But this coincides with what you will see later, that the number six had showed up as in the number of man or the number of creation. Man was created on the sixth day or six days of creation. So there's lots we could do with six. Six is also people. We also see that six um, correlates with Genesis. So this is where we are saying that this formed in Genesis. And this is, um, all of this is a representation of the word Genesis that we are as people adding this together sis is that seven and 10 17 that's 22 
32, 33. 3 plus 3 is 6. So this here, we can see that the 5, the big 5, actually represents Genesis. A people. A people. The people who fight among themselves, <laughs> well, or who fight, um, but we are one. This is one. Okay. Now, um, we have seen it also represents God. Now, another interesting word that I saw for the number eight was the word without. I did this in a, a video in maybe more than one, but the word without um, really means, oh, it comes to eight, actually. I won't go through all of this because of time, but it got me thinking when we say without, we only think that there is just pure emptiness. We don't think of with, within and without. We think of just out. So it's like a, it gives the impression or how I see it, the word without. It's saying like your attention is like outward. Okay. And so into nothingness, if you like. Okay. However, I'm trying to explain this without. I'll try and see if I can get this video to put attached to it because I felt I did a good job with it. Okay, so we invite in the high priest Aaron because when I feel a little bit stuck, I call on to the high priest Aaron because he's really good. And of course, igniting the 14 gods that we are. Of course, we have seen as well the gods that are active. We see the god of causation and the god of settings. They both equal eight as we speak of eight. So, um... Um, step two that we did so bear in mind we had 31 and of course we also have looked at 31 as in three and one and we saw if we did 31 as in um three one meaning the word three t-h-r-e-e -E, this would be 11 and one would be seven so this would give us nine of course nine is the whole cycle this heads we say the whole nine yards the whole nine miles yards of course i think it's said for a numerical value as well so there we have a nine of course nine also when we do the numerical value for the word nine and i n e it gives us 24 which we have just added here and we see this gives us six as we had four so we can see that it still gives us six as in four voila isn't that really good? Okay, so basically, I, I hope you really get this. So we need the numerical value for four, the word four, F-O-U-R, and that gave us 24. Two plus four is six. It's also indicating like a double foundation that you need, like one foundation and another foundation, which would be two, four, eight. Okay, and so we see we have six here, just as we, if we did um, the numerical value for nine, like we did for four, it still gives us six. So six here is really saying this is the number of man. This is the number of man where Mother Eve says we have to create man in our image after our likeness. This is what this is what it is. Okay. Now the other step that we did was to um, find out how many letters were in each of these um, four, um, five, the big five, basically. And we saw that we had um, seven letters. For Judaism, um, 12 letters for Christianity, um, this is plus, plus, and um, we had Hinduism, we had eight letters, and um, Buddhism, we had another eight letters, so they, they, we see how it is reflected here, and for Islam, we have five letters. So just let's look at this, so this is 20, uh, this is 10, sorry, oh, let's do it another way, so this is um, 21. 21 and 31 so still so this still gives us 31 oh did um yes that's what we got so this is still 31 so this is really interesting that we got 31 i mean this people i really want you to see this because i have been getting a lot of um synchronicity well synchronicities or correlations is better i have been getting a lot of correlations doing devising the god's hair as in um the order they come in the bible and of course if i was to show you all this which i will hair so all the gods are, are reflecting here, the nine gods of Genesis of chapter one and adding them together comes to 40, just as 31 comes to 40. And this is also coinciding with the um, 40 days or 40, 40 years of the children in the desert, 40 um, days and nights of Jesus fasting. And with Noah, the flood lasted for 40 days and 40 nights and all of those things. So we see 
and this is very very robust here i don't know what intelligence has um, devised this people please share these videos because i feel there are other minds out there who would like to really know this and perhaps help me to really uncover um, more of understanding how we would have such a perfect pattern of 2764 right here and showing another 2764 going this way this means that we are now here this we are here with this two and we are going to another 2764 this is what is happening and we really want to be able to um, capture the essence of this however we have these gods here who are now um, that's the in Genesis of chapter 2 we have the five gods and these are very instrumental in helping making things happen so we need to really um, harness on the vibration of this um, here I'm trying to work out because we have had a number six um, quite a bit and let's see this is uh, this is 10 16 um, 16 8 se 16 17 18 19 24 so this is also 24 which is another confirmation that we are um, creating a new people this right here this is another creation happening here. So people, we really need to, I hope you can see this, really need to work this out. And um, I'm really getting a chat. I am seeing that with this information and this knowledge, we'll be able to at least chat where the major changes are happening. Like now, we can see major changes are happening. Um, we also could add, like we have done here, we have added, oh, I okay, I just... Let's leave this part for now and let's concentrate on here. So just to make this um, not too long and to make it, of course, concentrate on this. So um, we saw that we had 40 and we have 31 again. So the, here we see we have um, 41 um, 31. If we did 31 just as we have shown, meaning um, 30 in the word form, which gives us 8, then we have another 8. So... This is really interesting. So doing 31 this way, T-H-I-R-T-Y, 1 is 17. 1 plus 7 is 8. So this means we have two 8s. And this co corresponds with when Eve, Eve 8, meaning A-T-E, A-T-E equals 8, which is 1, 2, 5. This is 8. And her husband, which has the numerical value of 6 as well, of course, um, because this is really interesting because her husband had the new the word husband has the numerical value of six of six and if uh, if we did the numerical value for the word five for the word five f i v e this gives us 24 which equals six so she and her husband became six six or on some would say sex sex but and this came to 12. This is why we see that there was creation was happening right there. This is the free that really is flighty and sets all kinds of things. But to see that everything comes as in pairs, when we do the numerical value for the word free is 11, which means this is two. This is seven. Seven, seven, one plus seven, um, seven and seven. I hope you get this because I've done this. Okay, let me just go slowly on this one. So, she ate, so the two two of them ate. So um, the husband, the word husband, H-U-S-B-A-N-D, comes to six. I think it's 24, but it came to six. Eve is five. We could leave it as five, and that comes to 11, which is more or less the same thing. So adding this together comes to 11. Now, if we did the numerical value separately for each one, this would be 7, 7. Adding this together, adding this together comes to 5. And this is how we have if is in everything. That's one explanation. If we did the numerical value, however, for if, as in 5, the word 5, and the word 6. So the word 5 equals 6. The word 5 equals 6. Let's take this off. And the word 6 the word six equals seven. So this would be 
and 12 13 and this is where we see of course 13 equals 9 and 9 also equals 6 but this is also talking about the 12 um zodiac signs or our uh, the 13 where with christ or again we have one plus three is 14 is setting a foundation just as we have done here so we can see how 13 is actually put like the reverse of of 31 so um i think this is what we ought to go with to see that husband equals six and if equals five and of course this is again falling with the christian um thing about all number of 11 we can see that christianity also comes to 11 here so this is 11 and of course 11 has in it nine it comes to nine and nine comes to six and so on but we can see here that this is where the two sets of gods are right there as well so we could also say in this sense that adam and eve were setting their godship in there as well so um one one the word one equals seven and of course we have another seven adding this together oh i must uh t okay <coughs> okay and um adding this together comes to 15. one plus five is six and this is why mother eve is called the said god so basically this is where we see that mother eve is the embodiment of all she's the embodiment of the husband she's the embodiment of everything right there and and comes to five okay the said god okay with the God of words. All right. Um, so another um, aspect um, we we meant to do. Yes, yeah, so we have covered that we have the numerical values. And this is just so incredible that it's it's like, I think this would have to be the, the biggest thing I have discovered apart from the eight letters of Mother Eve. I don't know every aspect of this is big. I please help um share these videos because I'm I'm only I'm only doing my best right now and I really would like um people to see this because I have added all these um the numerical values and also the um amount of letters and they both come to a uh, 31. And um, what as well that we did, the other thing that we did, um, which, yes, so one of the things we did, um, which we hadn't covered in here, is that we added the numerical value, because I was just having fun, really, added a numerical value and the amount of letters together. So that's another thing we did. And of course, we can always, we already can work this out that it's going to come to eight, because um, five plus um, seven is 12. And we have, uh, for Christianity, we had 5 plus, no, we had 11 plus, uh, 11 plus 12, which is 23. And for Christ, um, for Hindu, we had uh, 7 plus uh, 7, and it was plus 8. 7 plus 8, so that's 15. So we have 15 here. And we had, let's just get this out of the way now, make it simpler. Oh, I'm just rubbing things up. Okay, um, Buddhism is um, 8 plus 8, so this would be 16. We can get rid of this now. And um, Islam is um, 9 plus 11. 9 plus 5 is 14. So if we add this up, this is 10, 15, 18, 19, 20. And then we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is what we have. So we can see we still end up with eight. And this is what is, um, I have been talking and teaching on. It's that in the um, scriptures of Genesis chapter one, this is where Mother Eve um, has these letters. I call it the letters. Let's see if I can really get, this is just so incredible. I hope people really get this. And of course, the next question is, what do we do with it? But we will be able to chat our lives and see, have a better understanding of what's happening in our world and how to maneuver ourselves um, through it. So, and this is why I was um, really um, asking the high priest Aaron, how do we really work through this? And basically the high priest Aaron is saying, this is where it is said like every man should or person should really go through their metamorphosis by you doing your confession, doing your cleansing, doing your meditation and all of those things, because it's like you are being going through a rebirth. And that's what um, the high priest says. So here we have seven letters. This is one, five, 
six, seven, and her mother Eve has, let there be light, let there be a firmament, let there be the heavens, let the earth come, bring forth fruit, let the lights in the firmament give light in the heavens and in the earth, let the waters bring forth abundantly um, creatures, and let the earth bring forth living creatures as well, I think it is. But in the eighth one is where mother Eve says, let us make man, let us make man in fact let's do the numerical value on this because i have done this before this is 31 us is 31 make is five i think five ten fifteen sixteen so make is um i'm just thinking why is okay make is seven and man is one okay so this would be four just make it simpler and this is um eight twelve thirteen people 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 i am just doing this really right now and this is 13 so this is what we are, 13 is there, we are ready as in Christ with his 12 disciples and of course him at the table being 13 and having to have this agreement with, he has an agreement with them, he breaks bread, give them bread and wine and they of course come to an agreement or fellowship or bond and of course he gets crucified. That's where we are people, that's where we are, we all have to, we all are going through our crucifixion and of course um, the, the word 13, just to conclude, T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N, actually comes to 9. I, yes, I, it comes to 9. So, the, and if we did the numerical value this way as well, this would be 7 and 1. Um, it, sorry, 7, 1, 1, 7, 11. So that's what 7-Eleven is about, creating. Okay, well, um, it's really a death. We go through the death process first. And this is why. And this is the best explanation we can actually um, have for what is happening in our world today. And this, help, in fact, um, High Priest Aaron is telling me as well to just go over the um, process of or adding, doing the, doing the figures with um, coronavirus. So coronavirus, um, corona is free, C-O-R, corona is free. I have done this, it's 30, so this is free, and virus is 8. So we have 11, and COVID is C-O-V-I-D, is 8, and of course we have 8, and 19, 1 plus 9 is um, 10, of course, so we have 1. So we have 1, and add this together. This is so important we get this. It's so important we get this. So adding this together, this is 10. Of course, it's 20. People, we are in 2020. I am with shivers here right now because I did not really intend looking at this this way. Please share this video to get people to understand the magnitude of what is happening in our world. This is something that is highly, highly calculated, high intelligence. And I don't know, I don't have the wisdom that has been passed to me to work this out is really um i don't know how to name it but there's a high intelligence that is really at work right here and everything is so calculated is it divine intelligence it's there is a reformation of the whole world happening right now breaking off that it but i do remember saying this three years two to three years ago this has been my teaching all along that mother eve has been calling us home and saying come home come home because she needs to teach us how to create man man which is M-A-N, which is 10. And this is where she begins with the word 10 or number 10. And she says, let there be light. L-E-T is 3, 5, 2. Adding this together is 10. And this, this, is, this is where she begins. And of course, this equals man. So we are called to create man in our image after our likeness. And to do that, we need to know who we are first, where we are going, where we've been, what it is that we are meant to be doing. Have some kind of vision, clear vision of what we are creating. If we don't know that we are of the 14 gods and how to tap into our resources and have um, the high priest Aaron and other um, entities to help us to discover and to um, make better sense of this, we will be lost. But what um, High Priest Aaron is really saying to me right now, what it is, we need to really sharpen our spiritual skills 
through the five senses and through this God's hair, the ended God, the formed God, the God of causation and the breath God. And he is saying we need to do a lot on breathing exercises as well. We really need to get into the ground in knowing what we are planting, get to the feel of Mother Earth with the, with, um, the ground. And of course, we have the God of causation already. And this is go um, going to come to an end in a sense that we need we are the ones who need to bring it to an end. But the word end actually equals five. And this is the word end. That five is the key that we need. It is the key, but we need to find the key. Okay, so beautifully in that ignited souls, thank you for joining me. I was really hoping this was going to be a very short um, presentation. And that's what happens when um, I don't keep, uh, in fact, it's keeping the essence of um, the essence of the message at the forefront and then let spirit work. This is amazing, truly amazing. Do share, like, and subscribe. I really would like this to go viral for the sense of getting people to understand the essence of this. This is really, I haven't seen anything like it around and I hope you understand it. I may have to go over this again, but this cannot, this is not a joke. It really isn't a joke to have discovered the 14 gods and to see how they play out in number five because one plus four is five and we have in our system, in our earth universe, we have this five the big five religions and they come together and they show that number five to perfection they show the number um four that they are representing that foundation just as in 40 hair another thing that i actually okay i'll just leave it at that because otherwise we'll go on on and on but this is really beautiful very beautiful so thank you and stay ignited